Already, we've got a Carnotaurus hunting down a Brachiosaurus. Even the sauropods aren't safe. Well, what a good way to start the episode. Alright, anyway, what's going on guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. We are here, once again, at the Sanctuary... And we've got dinosaurs kind of spreading out everywhere. We plan on adding more here. We got a, we got kind of a Velociraptor here looking for food. You know, I'll give you a feeder just so you have food. Here you go. Yeah, he came running to the feeder right away. Kind of got this lone Velociraptor just chilling here. And we're going to add a few more dinosaurs in. Once again, the list has updated since then. So we're going to look at the list right now. Alright, so the list of dinosaurs in general is now at 32. So we've got Acrocanthosaurus, Allosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Archaeornithomimus, Atrociraptor, Brachiosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Carnotaurus, Compsognathus, Dinochirus, Dilophosaurus, Diplodocus, Euoplocephalus, Giganotosaurus, Herrerasaurus, Majungasaurus, Megalosaurus, Nasutoceratops, Pachyrhinosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Scorpius Rex, Sinoceratops, Spinosaurus, Stegosaurus, Suchomimus, Tarbosaurus, Therizinosaurus, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor, Wuerosaurus, and Euterrenus. Okay, yep. Phew, that was a lot. For pterosaurs, we have eight now. We've got Sierradactylus, Dimorphodon, Sungaripterus, Geosternbergia, Jeholopterus, Marodactylus, Pteranodon, and Quetzalcoatlus. And for aquatics, we have eight. Archelon, Dugalosteus, Ichthyosaurus. We got a fight between a Dilophosaurus and Bob. Oh no, the Dilophosaurus do pack hunt. Oh. Oh god, that's good to know. Actually. So at least they're hunting for food anyway. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, we got Archelon, Dunkelosteus, Ichthyosaurus, Megalodon, Mosasaurus, Nothosaurus, Plesiosaurus, and Tylosaurus. Alright, so the Ankylosaurus did die. I'll leave it there for, like, food purposes and whatever. I didn't know, or maybe I forgot, that Dilophosaurus actually pack hunt. So we got the Dilophosaurus kind of working together in a way. Which is cool, actually. Alright, so we're going to bump up the amount of creatures we release from 10 to 15. We're going to release like 15 in this episode to try and get it a little faster. Let's start with the aquatics since we already have aquatics. So, alright. We don't have Archelon. We're going to get Archelon. That was on uh, the subscriber. One of my subscribers uh, asked for that. And then we'll try to get the, like maybe the two Acrocanthosaurs. One of them should be named uh, Cookies and Cream. That's what one of them said. And then another one said Xavier. Alright? That's what we'll do. We'll get two Acrocanthosaurs named one Cookies and Cream and the other Xavier. Alright, so Plesiosaurus. That's done. And then Tylosaurus. Alright, that's that done. Oh, somebody commented. They wanted me to name one of the Brachiosaurs Alora. Let me see if I can find... We'll use the Alpha. This Brachiosaurus right here. We'll name you Alora. So there's your Brachiosaurus OC, Alora. I can see that the King Scar is still fighting. He's not the Alpha anymore, but... The Carnotaurs are kind of hunting down the Brachiosaurs, it looks like. Alright, so we got the Aquatics down. Let's, uh, let's get the Pterosaurs all hatched up. Alright, so for... Um... Alright, I didn't want to look at you. I wanted to get the pterosaurs. Alright, so for pterosaurs, we have Sierra Dactylus. That's one. There we go. That's the three pterosaurs done. Let's release all three of them, and then we'll be good to go. We should probably get an insect feeder for them. For the, the uh, Jehalopterus. We'll get a couple of insect feeders. That's a cool-looking Quetzal, though. How about... Red Demon. You can be Red Demon. Even though you're mostly green, you've got a red head, so it kind of counts. Alright, let's release the Pterosaurs first. So altogether, this will be six, so we'll release nine new dinosaurs. Alright, that's Sierra Dactylus done. This is Jehalopterus. All 
All right. And finally, Maradaculus. All right, so the pterosaur aviary should be getting a little busier now. So that's good anyway. And now for the aquatics, we'll throw in the Archelon, we'll hatch those. Get that going. There we go. All right, so the aquatics are being hatched up. What should we add in for the terrestrials? What should we put in? We already have Carnotaurus. We should probably put in the two Acros. So let's get some more herbivores first, and then we'll throw in the acros. So we'll have a total of, like, I think five herbivores and four carnivores. That's that's what I'm thinking. We'll throw Diplodocus in here. So we'll get, like, I don't know, two more herbivores for over here? All right, so where's Diplodocus? Where's Diplodocus? Uh, there you are. I just ate a whole pizza, and now my stomach's kind of feeling a little weird. I'm, I mean, I'm usually able to eat a whole pizza, but I don't know. All right, so we'll get four Diplodocus. Archaeornithomimus. Let's get Archaeornithomimus so we have, like, an Ornithomimid in there. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. So then I'm thinking, all right, that's the that's two of the carnivore herbivores. Let's get three more, and then maybe start filling up another section. My goal is to kind of fill up this map with, like, everything. I mean, we kind of already got the Carnotaurus. Let's add, like, a small carnivore in here. What about a Trosoraptor? Yeah, we'll throw a Trosoraptor in here. So we don't technically have anything, to, like, to compete with anything, but... They're just a small carnivore that can hunt down the herbivores and whatever. And they'll probably get some more hatcheries, so then we can, you know, get things done a bit quicker. Alright, so that's two herbivores and one carnivore. Let's, uh, is that Velociraptor still there? Yes, you are still there. All right. There's this one lone Velociraptor on a rival point. We'll put an arrival point down. Just so we can have that. Two Marodactylus is fighting. Not surprising. All right, let's go into additional bays and accelerated growth. And then we'll add some herbivores in. All right, so we got two. We need three more. Let's get three more. We'll get Dinochirus. We'll get Dinochirus, Euoplocephalus, and maybe Cynoceratops. Yeah, we'll get that. Or should we get Pachyrhinosaurus? I kind of want Pachyrhinosaurus. Is that on the list? If it's on the list, we'll get it. Whatever's on the list. Okay, let's see if Pachyrhinosaurus is on the list. It is on the list. All right, cool. So we'll get the Dinochirus. We will get... What was the other one? Nasutoceratops is also on the list. I kind of like Nasutoceratops. We'll get Pachyrhinosaurus for like over here. And then we'll get Euoplocephalus as well. There we go. And then finally Euoplocephalus. And that'll be five herbivores. And then we'll add in four new carnivores. We'll get the OCs in and we'll start doing whatever we'll have a carnivore for like over here there we go so that'll be the three herbivores for over here so these should be ready we got diplodocus over here and archaeornithomimus and then we got the atrociraptors do we have any movie skins that one's not no no we do have a tiger and we have a red we have a tiger and a red all right, so we'll we'll name them later. Dino Kyrus, we'll throw all four in. Pachyrhinosaurus, all five, and Euoplocephalus, all three. All right, there we go. We should be good to go there. Let's get the Archaeornithomimuses done first. No, I don't want to release them via airlift. I want to release them now. Let's go. That's Archaeornithomimus being released. Let's get the Diplodocus out. Oh, I clicked it too early. Alright, we can still watch the Diplodocus from here. So we got four Diplodocus being released. So that should be cool. We 
got something on low health. Oh, you're being attacked. That's why. That parasaur is gonna die. The velociraptors have killed a parasaur. That's that's cool. All right. That was bound to happen. All right. You know what? Let's release the atrociraptors. Let's go. I'm pretty sure Atrociraptor was on the list, so we got them. All right, we'll worry about naming them later. Let's, uh, we got Dilophosaurus going after another Ankylosaurus, it looks like. Oh, that's a shame. I think Bob died. This one might be about to die. Well, these Dilophosaurs are pretty strong, actually. Damn. Okay, they're doing some serious damage. Wow. They just killed another one. Another Ankylosaur has died, it looks like. We're gonna have to get some new Ankylos. Damn. Okay, this one survived. This one survived. Alright, never mind. 5% health. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and release some of them. Starting with the Dinochirus. We'll release some more herbivores. I don't blame you guys for choosing Dinochirus. It's a really cool looking dinosaur. I like this dinosaur. Oh wait, I should probably see what these guys like. Ground leaf, you got it. All right, what is, uh... All right, you like ground fiber. We'll surround the Pachyrhinosauruses with ground fiber. There we go. That should be food for them. And as for the Euoplocephalus, ground fruit as well as ground leaf. All right, let's see if we can get some ground fruit. All right, we got that food. Pachyrhinosaurus, let's go. And last but not least, Euoplocephalus. And that'll be all the herbivores released. So far. Alright, let's release the aquatics. We'll start with the Archelon. Expanding the the aquatic sector. All right, that's Archelon done. Plesiosaurus is up next. Finally, Tylosaurus. Red Demon is fighting a Geosternbergia. Alright. Alright, so the aquatic sector is getting filled up. Everyone seems to huddle in one area for whatever reason. We've got creatures everywhere. The Parasaur died to a to a pack of Velociraptors. We got a Geosternbergia that died to Red Demon. Alright, so what should we do here? Maybe we'll add a medium-sized carnivore for over here. Yeah, that's what we could do. So so at least the they have food. 
So we got Carnotaurus hunting down a Parasaurolophus. So maybe we'll put like Majungasaurus over here. Yeah, so we have like a medium-sized carnivore. We'll put three of them in. One of them should be named Major. That's what somebody, somebody did comment that. Isn't, wait, isn't Major like a blue color? I'm not sure. What color is Major? All right, it doesn't really, it doesn't really specify what color he is. So I guess we'll just go with green and this, I guess. That'll be Major's color scheme. A strong one for Major. So you're going to be Major, and then we'll have the other two. Just as those. There we go. All right, so that's Majungasaurus being cooked up. Now, let's move on to the next one. We got Dinochirus kind of wandering over here. All right, so we already got two carnivores. We got Atrociraptor, and we've got the other one. Can I move the building? Thank you. Majungasaurus, all right. Let's uh, have the Acrocanthosaurs put them a little further away. So they can, like, hunt down the herbivores. Alright, so we're gonna get two Acrocanthosaurs. Let me just see the comment. We got the Atrociraptors hunting down a Carnotaurus. You know what we could use? Like, an Apex Predator. Where are the T-Rexes? Where are the T-Rexes? I can hear them. We got Megalodon and Dunkleosteus. Okay. Yeah, we got more carnage coming in. Where are the T-Rexes? Oh, we kind of got a lone Archaeonithomimus. What are you looking for? Ground fruit? All right, we got a Trosseraptor on low health because it's attacking a Carnotaurus. I don't think the Atrociraptors are really going to last, if I'm going to be honest. All right. All right, Majungasaurus should be done, so let's release Major first. I think this is the closest we're going to get to Major. Alright, so that's Major. Let's release the other two. Actually, I think this one might be closer to Major. Yeah, whatever. Well, we got Majungasaurus in here anyway. Alright, so how are the Acros doing? Okay, they should be ready. So that's Cookies and Cream. And then this is Xavier. Alright, we'll add those in. So we have some Apex Predators for days. And then, should we add Spinosaurus in? Hmm. We'll have like a little river area for Spinosaurus. We could throw Spinosaurus in here. Maybe. You know what? Yeah, that could work. I'm not sure where the T-Rexes are. We'll throw in Spinosaurus. We'll throw that in here. We'll have the one. And then that'll be our four carnivores for the episode. All right, let's modify the Spinosaurus. Give it some stuff and things. There we go. All right, so that'll be our... All right, let's release the first Acro. Here is cookies and cream. Alright, so we'll name you cookies and cream. Oh, never mind, you can't, like, type in apostrophes, I guess. Alright, so here's cookies and cream. Or cookie and cream. No, cookies and cream. There we go, cookies and cream. And the other one, Xavier. Xavier. I think it's Xavier. I think that's how you pronounce it. So here is Xavier. So that's the two acros done. One more carnivore and we'll be good to go. So Spinosaurus should be happy with the fish. All right, so we got a Spinosaurus who's just fit, it looks like. Well, let's start naming our dinosaurs. Let's see what we got for here. Any cool-looking Dinochirus? No, it doesn't look like it. 
Oh, you we can name Blizzard. Blizzard the Dinochirus. We got a dead Atrociraptor. Which Atrociraptor's the Alpha? You would be the Alpha. Oh, you're Tiger, alright? Let's just name you Tiger. You can just be Tiger. Simple as that. Alright, what else do we have to name, really? Hmm. We got Major. Alright, I, I think we're good to go when it comes to dinosaurs and whatever. All right, let's go ahead and release the Spinosaurus. Let's go. Our final dinosaur of the episode. Velociraptor, I think, hunting down a... I'll come back to you in a minute. Oh, you got a Velociraptor fighting him by himself. This is the... All right. He's got the Charlie skin, but he's not Charlie. Let's call him Charles. Charles, because he's not quite Charlie. See, that's Charles the Velociraptor. As for our Spino. Ooh, what should we name him? Hmm. How about... Diablo. I'll just name you Diablo for now. Unless you guys can come up with a better name for the Spinosaurus, Diablo it is. Alright, so we got Spinosaurus and Xavier. Xavier's getting, he's getting close to Xavier's territory. So I don't know. Meanwhile, Cookies and Cream is kind of sticking with the herbivores. I think the smart thing to do would be to stick with the herbivores. Wait, well, how are we with food? You're all set. What about the Packies? Alright, how are you guys when it comes to food? You've got food. Alright, awesome. Now, where are those damn T-Rexes? Okay, there's one. There's Susan. I found Susan. Where's the other one? Big Bertha. How did you get all the way over there, Big Bertha? You're all the way over here with a Compsignathus. Hmm. Alright. So the T-Rexes pretty much control this area, while the Acros and the Spino pretty much patrol this area. Alright, looking for food. You got a fish feeder. You've got all the food you could ever need here, Mr. Spino. You really do. Alright, and with that, I think that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.